just make sure I get it right, a layered lemon cake. Now there's a few steps to it, so we'll be on and off. So first I'm just gonna set you guys down and uh, let's get cracking. Right, so if I put you about there. Okay, so I have got 175 grams which is six ounces of self-raising flour i put it in the bowl because i haven't got a small pot for it now i use the mcdouglas if it's going to focus a supreme flour it comes out nicer in cakes than the original one uh next we need baking powder so that's the one i use of Asda so just a little bit well kind of like a heaped teaspoon I've used um, and then we've got some eggs it's three eggs uh, six ounces ooh, of soft margarine now this is unsalted uh, butter it's great for cooking with and where's my dog here is <laughs> and six ounces of caster sugar and also we've got zest of a lemon now i use the large lemon guys <clears throat> and obviously squeezed a bit of the juice out from it as well so first of all just got <clears throat> go by here right i've got my two pans I think they're about, uh, I think they're roughly eight inch, where the recipe says seven, but they'll still work out, guys. So obviously I've just um, <clears throat> smudged a bit of like margarine around it and put some flour on to stop it from sticking. But you can use uh, parchment paper uh, or grease proof, uh, grease proof paper. <clears throat> Now guys, I've got the washing machine on, so if you're wondering what all the rumbling is, that's what it is guys, sorry. Right, so let's get started. So, the oven is on, and we've done the tins, and I've grinded my lemon and squeezed the juice from it. So the next part is sift the flour and baking powder into a bowl, so obviously that's done, so I'm just gonna add my baking powder uh, break the eggs into a cup and then add them along with the marge and sugar so marge sugar and the eggs it's three eggs guys one two three right that's done <clears throat> right now we will do sugar and margarine. Let me just grab a spoon. Okay. So obviously this is room temperature. We've got a lot of hot weather so it's quite soft. So get off. Right, we'll leave it as that. Put that there. So then we will beat everything in the bowl well then stir in the lemon rind and juice so let's get whisking guys Take it from around the edges because sometimes the edges don't get 
just about enough. I'll just give that another quick little whisk. Right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Right, and then we've got to add the lemon rind. So I call it the zest of the lemon or the zest of a lemon. <clears throat> and the juice. I love the smell of lemon. Mm. Okay, so I think we just stir that in. So I'm going to bash these two off. lick these guys because it's got raw egg on it. Very, very upsetting. Right. Do, 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 do. What should I use? A wooden spoon. Let's try. Right, let's get all the lemon in. Ooh, flicking at myself. Oh guys, this smells so good. So good. Love lemon. <laughs> right. Try and get that off. It's quite thick, but uh, we'll go with it. So, Zach didn't want to help me today. Typical boy. You'll want to eat it though. <laughs> right, so I'm going to divide these into my two pans now. So let me just put these away. Put that there. And here, one there. Let's see if my dividing is good. <laughs> so it's quite thick, but uh, should all cook the same. God, I could so lick this now, guys. That's the best part, right? Okay, so. Let me just gonna try and smooth it. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> the smoothing out part is never my strong point. But, uh, I'm going to do my best. God, this stuff's so sticky. Okay. I think that's okay. That should do. Alright, let's be a bit more. We've got... Come on. As long as it tastes nice, I think that's all that matters. <laughs> okay guys, I'm going to put these in the oven and they go on for, let me just check. Come on recipe, right. Bake the cakes for 25 minutes until they are, uh, until they spring up when you press them in the middle and leave them on the rack to cool. 
so guys i'm literally just doing the cake filling that's the oven so for the filling it's two eggs turn um three ounces of caster sugar a lemon again i'm using a large lemon and two ounces of unsalted butter so i've got that just uh over the pan heating up now that should thicken you just got to keep stirring it regularly till it thickens and sticks to the back of your spoon and then you take it off the heat and let it cool down now i'm gonna go check the cakes now so guys just waiting on the uh lemon filling um, it can take up to 20 minutes it says to thicken um, so we've just got to keep an eye on it and keep stirring it you know until it gets to that thickness that it sticks to the spoon um, so the cakes turned out good they have sunk a little in the middle which I tend to find most of my cakes <laughs> that I make do um, it doesn't matter if I sift the flour or not sift the flour or I add a little bit extra of baking powder like to help it rise they always do it but anyway they look good guys so i'm just going to give you a little peek so the last bit obviously when the um I'm just checking my phone because that's where <laughs> the uh recipe is um it is uh the icing for the cake now i'm going to tell you guys what to use so if you want to do it you can i'm actually not going to make the icing because obviously being pregnant the thought of the icing being on there just makes me feel really sick and i won't enjoy the cake if i put it on there so um i'll show you the picture um so obviously you can see now my phone for some reason is only going sideways if i turn it up the other way it spins around to a smaller picture so i'll kind of show you what it's going to look like hopefully kind of look like that so obviously this is all your icing that you would make for the top of your cake. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave the cake plain with the lemon filling inside. Um, so I'll just give you the... Oh, see it's turned on me again. Ah. I'll just give you the icing recipe that you need to make it and what to do. Um, because obviously I'm not going to be making it. So for the icing you'll need one lemon, four ounces of icing sugar um two round seven inch tins so obviously that's what your cakes are in i don't know why it's under that section so ignore me guys just uh the icing is lemon and icing sugar i'm reading the rest of the uh ingre uh the ingredients uh recipe stuff so let me just find it just close it into the bowl spread the food on top of the that's why so either grate some rind from the last lemon or scrape some off with a zester if you have one keep it on the side hold on the phone's turned again All right no 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 i've lost it hold on guys stop moving squeeze one half of the lemon sift the icing sugar Stir in, uh, stir the juice into the icing until it is like glue. So pretty much like what icing should be. Um, ice the cake and sprinkle the rind on top. So that's literally all you've got to do, guys. Um, so I'm just going to check on the, oh, the filling because I don't want to get too thick and obviously not see it. So back in a minute, guys. So it's slightly thickening just a little bit so a little bit longer and it should be done i cannot wait to try this i absolutely love lemon and lemon cakes like i've made some like different lemon cakes in the past and like little like, lemon muffin like small lemon muffin cakes and they are so good and i love like your chocolate cakes and that but i prefer sort of like your victoria sponge or um like I say, lemon cakes and things like that. I'm not an over chocolatey person in general. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm so excited. If you like the recipe, always leave a thumbs up, guys. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep an eye on that uh, filling and we'll be back when I'm ready to do the cake. So guys, the filling is finally done. I think it's at the texture it should be. Ooh. <laughs> 
So here it is. Crazy carrot. So it's quite thickish. It's like a <laughs> bit like a lemon curd texture. And guys, guys, I should have just brought lemon curd and cheese. Let me hold it. <laughs> No, darling, because I'm talking. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to let that cool down um, and then we'll smother the cake in it. <laughs> Back in a bit, guys. So, guys, the cake is done and the mixture is done and it tastes good. So, I'm just going to slop it on the cake. Let's see how we go. I'm not gonna go right up to the edge because obviously this stuff is quite soft so when you put the top part of the cake on it will sort of splodge out a bit. Am I really good with words or am I really good with words? Right. We'll go too near the edge. Should we make that it? So I'm going to save some. Could taste nice now for the hard part. <laughs> Not really the hard part, but still. There we go, guys. Now remember this would normally have uh, the icing on and little bits of shredded um, oh, like lemon. So obviously I'm not doing that because of the way I feel. So guys, I'm going to smudge a little That's bit. That's it. Put your roll up. <laughs> and then I'm going to put it in the fridge just to harden up a little bit. Do you want that? Do you want that? Yeah, might as well. Now this tough, this tough, this stuff does taste yummy. It's like homemade lemon curd, really. All the little bits of lemon in there. It's gonna taste amazing. Stick it in the middle. Run through the side of the cake. A blob in there just to oof it out. Mm, yum, yum, yum. And there it goes, guys. If you make it, let me know.